so that I'm able to visualize the inside fully. Okay. All right, there's no inflammation, no exudate. The tympanic membrane is pearly white and sort of grayish, so normal findings. And we're gonna check the other ear. And the same findings are in the other ear as well. So next we're gonna move on to hearing acuity. So we're going to do the Rhine's test first, which you have to utilize a tuning fork for. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna strike this. I'm gonna place it behind your ear. It's gonna be on the mastoid bone. That's going to test uh, bone conduction. And then I'm gonna move it to the front when you're unable to hear that ringing vibration to test for air conduction. So just again, just to repeat, I'm gonna place this at the back of your ear. You're gonna tell me when you're no longer able to hear the ringing vibration. Okay, good. So air conduction was twice as long as bone conduction. That is a normal finding. So next we're going to inspect the nose. Again, there's from the head to, uh, assessment and inspection. Again, there's no abnormalities there. There's no drainage from the nose. There's no bleeding. Um, what I'm going to have you do is just to check for patency. I want you to press on one nostril, breathe in and out. Press on the other nostril and breathe in and out. And do you have any difficulty? No. No, okay, so then there's no obstruction there. Um, what I'm also going to do, I'm gonna have the patient tilt their head backwards a little bit. And I'm, with my thumb, I'm gonna lift the nostril and I'm gonna take a peek with the otoscope just to see inside. And the turbinates are pink and moist and no inflammation or obstruction there. So then I'm going to just palpate the nostril? Any tenderness? No. No? Okay, and then we're going to move on to the sinuses. So we're going to do the frontal sinus first. I'm just going to press down gently and lift up. Any tenderness? No. And now I'm going to do the upper cheeks for the maxillary. Any tenderness? No. No. And I also did not hear any uh, crackling, which would indicate that there's excessive exudate. I'm also just going to percuss really quick while I'm here. Okay, and there's no dullness on that sound, so that is a normal finding. And next we're going to inspect the mouth. So the lips are pink, there's no lesions there. I'm just gonna have you open your mouth for me. I'm gonna take a quick peek inside. The buccal mucosa is pink and smooth, no lesions. Um, the hard palate is slightly pale and the soft palate is just slightly pink. Um, no swelling noted at the Benson duct, and then the teeth, do you mind just smiling for me, showing your teeth? They're white, evenly distributed, and the gums, open your mouth again, are smooth. And then at the back of the mouth, the tonsils are um, not enlarged, no exudate. The posterior wall is nice and, and moist and pink uh, back there. So then testing for cranial nerves 9 and 10, the... Um, glossopharyngeal and also the vagus. What we're gonna do is first try swallowing for me. Do you have any difficulty swallowing? No. No, okay, so that's gonna help uh, assess those two, two nerves. Also, what you can do is you open your mouth and say ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. So her uvula went up and down in a vertical motion, that is normal. If it were to deviate, then that would indicate that there's a dysfunction there, so everything's good. 
So next we're just going to take a look at the neck. I don't see any bulging. I don't see any swelling. I don't see any lesions there. So I'm just going to check her range of motion. Can you just turn your head left and right? Okay, good. Up and down. Okay, do you have any difficulty there? No. No? Okay, good. And then I'm just going to inspect the trachea. Just take a look. See? Palpate a little bit. And it's not displaced. And then while we're here, we're going to do the carotid pulse. Only do it one at a time. Okay. And then I'm just going to go back here to check her thyroid. Bring both of my hands to the front, gently palpating. Can you swallow for me? Okay, so I don't feel any nodules. I don't feel any lumps or anything like that in there. So then we're going to do the lymph nodes. So I'm going to start with the preauricular, which is in front of the ear. Any tenderness? No. Postauricular. Okay. So again, uh, tonsillar, I should say. Any mm -hmm. tenderness? No. Any tenderness? No. Okay. Submental, any tenderness? No. Okay. Anterior uh, cervical? No. Any tenderness? Posterior cervical? Any tenderness? No. Okay. Deep cervical. Try turning your head to the side a little bit. Okay. And the other way. Any tenderness? No. Okay. Supraclavicle? No tenderness. And infraclavicle? No tenderness. Okay. No. So then we're just going to move over to the thoracic and the lungs. Again, there's just a general inspection. We're going to see if there's any symmetry. Um, do we see any pallor or cyanosis? No, everything looks pink. Um, nothing looks asymmetrical. Um, the lips are not uh, pursed and the, na the nose is not flaring. Um, and she's breathing even and unlabored. So then we're just going to take a look at the anterior chest and I'm just going to palpate and you let me know if there's any tenderness anywhere. No. No? Okay. And then we're going to do chest expansion. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our hands in, in this motion and we're going to put it along the costal margins and the xiphoid process. I just want you to take a deep breath. Okay. So when she breathed in, my hands went up symmetrically like this, which is a normal finding. And then we are going to do tactile formitis. So I just want you to say 99 for me. 99. Okay. 99. 99. Okay. 99. Okay. So everything within the anterior is within normal limits. So we're going to go to the posterior. And again, just palpating. Any tenderness? No. No. Okay, and then chest expansion, same thing with this hand motion on the spinal process. Just take a deep breath. Okay, both moved up slightly, symmetrically. And then I want you to say 99 again for the tactile formitis. 99. Okay. 99. 99. 99. Okay, you can have a seat again. So formitis was present in both the anterior and the posterior. There was no increase in formitis. Um, again, that's usually given with uh, a history of pulmonary um, deficits. So then we're just going to percuss, and I should hear resonance on both the anterior. Okay. So resonance is present. Resonant is presence is present in both the anterior and the posterior for this patient. So you can have a seat again. And then we're just going to auscultate the lung sounds. Just want you to breathe normal for me. Okay.
Okay, and then we're going to do posterior. Okay, you can have a seat again. Okay, and if I can have you move your tongue from side to side. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so no lesions um, noted, tonsils are not inflamed, and um, your tongue, the hypoglossal uh, cranial nerve is intact. Okay, so now um, I'm gonna go ahead and assess your um, TMJ. So I'm gonna have you open your mouth for me. And then go ahead and close it and clench your teeth. Okay, so TMJ is um, good strength against resistance, which is good. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and um, assess your neck. Uh, first of all, do you have any um, neck pain? Have you noticed any stiffness, any rigidity? No. Okay, so I'm gonna have you follow my movements. Okay, so if you can look down for me. Okay, look up. Okay, turn your head to your side. Now the other side, did you have any pain? No. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, palpate your lymph nodes. Let me know if you feel any discomfort or any tenderness. Okay. okay? So, preauricular, postauricular, cervical, occipital, supraclavicular, submandibular, tonsillar, and submantle. Did you feel any pain? No. Okay, so I'm gonna assess your trachea now. Have you noticed um, like any changes, like when you swallow, any pain or anything? No. Okay, so if you can go ahead and um, take a drink of water for me, please. Okay, perfect. Okay, so no signs of trachea uh, deviated. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead now and assess um, your AP lateral ratio. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and touch you, okay? Okay. And if I can have you lift up your arm for me. Okay, AP lateral ratio is one to two, which is good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, Auscultate your your lungs. Okay, so I'm gonna clean this discoscope. Okay, can you take a deep breath in for me? Okay, exhale. Thank you. Okay. Okay. more. Thank you. Now I'm going to go ahead and um, do the posterior side. So I'm just going to lift up your shirt, okay? Okay. Okay, take a deep breath in. Exhale. Okay, one more time. Okay, perfect. Once more. Okay, one more time. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and assess them laterally. So if you, I can have you lift up your arm. Okay, I'm just gonna go a little bit underneath their bra, okay? Okay. Okay, now if you can take a deep breath. Okay, exhale. Okay, once more. Okay, thank you. Okay, auscultated all lobes, all um, normal sounds, no um, crackles, wheezing, um, strider noted. Okay, so have you noticed any um, chest pain, any palpitations? No. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and um, palpate your apical pulse. So if I can just have you lift up your arm and then your shirt for me. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and assess um, your chest expansion. I'm just gonna move your hair. Let me know if you feel any pain, okay? Okay. Okay, now if you can take a deep breath in for me. Okay, exhale. Okay, chest expansion is um, symmetrical. Okay. Now let me just um, palpate your carotid pulse. Okay, carotid pulses are two plus um, bilaterally. Now I'm just gonna assess your um, radial pulses. Okay, I can see this one. Okay, radial pulses two plus bilaterally, and then your brachial pulses. Okay, now you get tanned. Thank you, brachial pulses two plus bilaterally, and now I'm just gonna check your pedal pulses, okay? okay. So I'm just gonna take off your um, shoe. Okay. Okay, now I'm just gonna. Okay, pedal pulses two plus bilaterally. Okay, um, have you noticed any uh, changes like, as far as um, swelling in your upper lower extremities? No. Okay, um, have you um, noticed like any um, tingling, any um, numbness? No. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and assess um, your edema. Okay. Yeah, I'll just get my legs. Okay, no edema present on upper lower extremities. And then if I can just borrow your hand really quick. Yeah, I'm just gonna check um, your skin turgor. Okay, um, skin turgor shows no sound tenting, so patient is well hydrated. Okay. Have you noticed any changes um, in your um, eating habits? No. Okay, how many meals a day do you eat? Uh, three. Okay, um, do you get any nausea or vomiting when you eat or before you eat? No. Okay, do you have difficulty eating, swallowing? No. Okay, um, as far as your bowel movement, when was the last time you had a bowel movement? This year. Okay, have you noticed any changes? No. Okay, um, what about your urine? Have you noticed any um, burning, any painfulness when you urinate? No. Okay, have you um, noted any um, foul odor or cloudiness in your urine? No. Okay, and when was the last time you had your menstrual cycle? Um, the 10th of this month. Okay, and um, on your menstrual cycle, have you noticed like any changes? Have you noted any um, like heavy bleeding, any um, unusual like clotting, anything of that nature? No. Okay, and um, have you been pregnant? Yes. Okay, do you have kids? Two. Okay, perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and have you um, lay down for me so I can go ahead and auscultate your abdomen. just to see if there's any um, abrasions, any open wounds, any ecchymosis, and none of that is noted, okay? So, okay, I'm gonna start in the right lower quadrant. Normal ab 
octave bow sounds in all four quad quadrants. So I'm gonna go ahead now and do a light palpation. Let me know if you feel any discomfort or any tenderness, okay? Okay. And again, I'm starting in the right lower quadrant, making my way up to the right upper quadrant. Okay. Any pain? No. Okay, now I'm just gonna go a little bit deeper, okay? Let me know if you feel any pain. Okay. Any pain? No. Okay, so I'm gonna percuss, okay? So let me know again if you feel any pain, any tenderness. Okay, perfect. Now, if you can sit up for me. Okay, and then you can have a seat back over there. Okay. This way? Yes. Oh, the other way is fine. Oh, the other way? Yeah. Okay. So I can go ahead and assess um, your CVA. Okay. So let me know if you feel any pain, okay? Okay. Did you feel any pain? No pain. Okay, wonderful. So right now that I have you sitting, I'm going to go ahead and um, listen to your heart. Okay. Okay. So it's going to go underneath your shirt. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to listen to your heart landmarks. Okay. Okay, so I'm listening to the aortic, which is on the right second intercostal space okay i'm making my way to the pulmonic which is on the left second intercostal space okay i'm just gonna go under your shirt real quick okay okay, okay. and now i'm assessing i'm assessing the earth's point which is in the third intercostal space on the right okay and now i'm assessing the tricuspid, which is on the left fourth intercostal space. Okay. And now I'm assessing the mitral, which is on the left fifth intercostal space. Okay. All heart sounds were normal. No murmurs were noted. No um, bruise were noted as well. Um, you're going to raise up on both toes, your heels up. Good. Now come back down. Okay, now we're going to do that on just uh, one leg and then use the table for balance only. I'm going to use this to have you come up the same height and then just do as many as you can. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20. Okay, good. So that's a great four. All right, now you can have a seat in the chair and then put your um, hand and arm up on the table. Good. Okay, so start out palm up, and then if you can just bring your hand bend it to your wrist up towards your shoulder. Okay, so hold that position and don't let me break you out of it. So hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's our five. Now flip over so we're palm down and then lift your palm up off the table. Same thing, hold this position and don't let me break you out of it. Hold, don't let me move you. That's a five. Okay, now do your fingers. So start out, spread them apart, then bring them together. Okay, now keep them together and don't let me separate them. So hold, don't let me move you. Okay, so that's a five. And now if you can separate them and lift them just a little off the table. Okay, now keep them apart and don't let me bring them together. Hold, don't let me move you. So that's a five. Um, now I want you to make like a claw hand and just extend at this joint. Yep, just like that. And then you're gonna hold that position and don't let me break you out of it. So hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's a five. Now flip over, keeping your fingers nice and straight. You just wanna bend up right there. Okay, now hold that position. Hold, don't let me move you. That's a five. Now you're gonna bring your thumb and your pinky together. Okay, now I'm going to try to separate them. Now hold that and don't let me move you. Okay, hold, don't let me move you. 
All right, that's a five. Now if I can have you have a seat up on the table. Okay, what I want you to do is uh, lift both your shoulders up like you're doing a shrug. Good, okay, come back down. Now you can look to your right. Um, and then just lift your shoulder up, keep it up, keep that position, and then hold, and don't let me move you out of it. Okay, hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's a five. Now I want you to raise your arm up over your head. Good, you can come back down. You're gonna come back and hold it at about shoulder level. All right, now hold that position and don't let me push you down. Okay, hold, don't let me move you. That's a five. Now, similar, I'm gonna have you make like a punching motion and then hold that position and then don't let me break you out of it, okay? So hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that would be a five. Now we're gonna go off to the side. So raise your arm out to the side and then bring it back to shoulder level. Okay, I'll hold that position and don't let me move you. That's a five. And now we're gonna do your elbow. So you can bend your elbow up, okay, back it up just a little, right there. Now hold that position and don't let me straighten your arm out, okay? Hold, don't let me move you. All right, that's a five. Now keeping your arm by your side, I want you to rotate so your palm is up. Okay, now hold that position and don't let me rotate your hand. So I'm gonna try to turn your palm down. Okay, ready? Hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's a five. And now you can go palm down. Good, and then same thing. Hold this position and don't let me move you. Okay, so that's a five. I'm going to have you just lift your leg. You can, if you have palm onto the table, lift your leg up off the table. You good? Okay, now hold that position and don't let me push you down. Okay, that's a five. All right, now I'm going to have you straighten your knee out. So it's straight. Good. Now just back it off a little right there. Okay, now hold that position and don't let me bend your knee, okay? So hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's a five. Okay, if you want to take off your uh, softened shoe. Okay, we're gonna do rotation first. Um, so if you can rotate your leg out. Okay, good, so hold that position and don't let me bring you in. Hold on, let me move you. Okay, that's a five. And then go the other direction to rotate in. Good, now hold that position and don't let me push you back out. Hold on, let me move you. Okay, that's a five. Okay, now I want you to take your toes and then point them up towards the ceiling. Okay, good. Hold that position and don't let me push you down. Okay, hold on, let me move you. Okay, that's a five. And now you're just gonna rotate your foot in, just like that, and then try to rotate it out and don't let me. Okay, hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's a five. And then we're gonna go outward. Rotate out. Now hold that position and don't let me rotate you in. Hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's a five. Now you can bend your toe down to the ground. Good. And I'm gonna try to just um, pull your toe out of the, uh, point down to the ground. Okay, so hold, don't let me move you. Good, that's a five. Now point it up to the ceiling and then I'm gonna try to push you back down. So hold, don't let me move you. Good. Okay, you can put your sock and shoe back on. And then I'm just gonna have you go on your back. Okay, so first thing, just have you lift your head up like you're almost like you're nodding. Okay, good, you can put it back down. Okay, so go ahead and do that, and then hold that position, and don't let me push you back down to the table, okay? Hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's a five. Um, okay, so now what I want you to do is take this arm and reach it across your body. Good, now bring it back till it's right here. Okay, so you're gonna hold that position, and don't let me pull you out of it, all right? Hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's a five. Okay, um, so you can put your arm straight at your side. And then just kind of like you're doing a sit-up, but just with your arms to the side, try to um, 
Bring your body up so that your shoulder blades are off of the table. Good, okay, so it's at least the three. So now put your hands behind your head and then you wanna do that again and keep your try to keep your legs on the table, okay? Good, so that's a five. Now we're gonna do the same thing and start with your hands by your sides and you're just gonna rotate. So you're gonna bring this arm, reach toward this knee, okay? Okay, so it's at least the three. So now you can put your hands behind your head and then the same thing, you wanna bring that elbow to that knee. Okay, so that's a five. All right, if I can have you roll onto this side for me. Okay, I just want you to pick this leg straight up. Okay, good. You're gonna hold that position and don't let me push you down, okay? Hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's a five. And then if you can roll onto your other side. Okay, I'm gonna hold this leg up. You just try to bring this leg up to touch it, okay? Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so now hold that position and don't let me push you down. Hold, don't let me move you. All right, that's a five. Okay, so now if you can go on your stomach. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> You're okay. All right, so if you can just lift your head um, straight up off the table. Okay, good. So you can relax for a second. So now you're going to do that again, and I'm going to try to push your head back down to the table. So hold, don't let me move you. Okay, so that's a five. All right, so now I'm going to have you just lift um, your arm up at the shoulder. Good. Okay, can you do that on your own? Good. Okay, put it back down. All right, so do that again. Hold that position, and uh, don't let me push you down, all right? Hold, don't let me move you. Okay, so that's a five. Okay, so now arm off the table. So what, what I want you to do is just pick up like your elbow up to the ceiling. Good, okay, put it back down. So now pick that up again, hold that position and don't let me push you down to the table. Okay, hold, don't let me move you. Okay, so that's a five. Um, I'm gonna have you put your arm out like this. You can look to the right side for me, thank you. Um, and then you're just gonna lift this arm up off the table like you're bringing your shoulder blades together. Good, okay, now hold that, you can relax for a sec. So you're gonna do that again, then hold that position, and I'm gonna try to separate your shoulder blades and don't let me, okay? So hold, don't let me move you. Okay, so that's a five. Now I'm gonna have you put this arm on your lower back. Okay, uh, lift it up off your back. All right, now hold that position and don't let me push you down. Okay, hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's like a four. Um, you can put this arm straight out over your head. Okay, so now lift it up and you're gonna hold that position and don't let me break you out of it, okay? Hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's like a four. Um, I'm gonna have you hang your arm off the table. If you can come over just a little bit this way, just a little bit, there we go. Um, put this under here. Okay. So what I want you to do is rotate your arm up towards your head. Okay, good. Now hold that position and don't let me push you back down, okay? Hold, don't let me move you. Okay, so that would be a five. And now go the other direction. Now hold that position and don't let me move you. Okay, um, and now I want you to straighten out your, uh, that was a grade five. And now can you straighten out your elbow for me? Good. Okay, now just come back a little bit. All right, now hold that position and don't let me push you down. Okay, hold, don't let me move you. Okay, that's a five. Um, okay, so now we're gonna do with your trunk like we did on the front, but we're gonna kind of try to do that on the, or we're gonna do that for the back. So I want you to just um, try to sit up so that you're clearing your chest off the table. Okay, good, so that's at least a three. So if you can put your hands behind your head, Okay, and then do that again. Good, so that's a five. Okay, and then uh, we're gonna do your hip. So if you can, keeping your knee straight, just lift your hip up. Okay, good. So now you're gonna hold that position and don't let me push you back down, okay? So hold, don't let me move you. That's a five. And then just bend your knee, okay? and I'm gonna to try to straighten out your knee, so don't let me. So hold this position and don't let me move you. You ready? 
Hold on, let me move you. Okay, that's a five. 